probability from table. Let's read this question. The table sh below shows the number of students in Central Hawks Bay College, Vaipukarao, who wore sunscreen on the last trip to the beach. The data is analyzed by gender. So this is a table giving information about male, female, and the people who use sunscreen or wore sunscreen or didn't, wore, didn't wear sunscreen. So this is how you can read. Uh, there were 276 males who wore sunscreen, sunscreen uh, and so on. Okay, so there were 43 females who didn't wear sunscreen. Okay, so the two, first, it's a good idea to read the table. So there were 363 males, 387 females, and the total number of students is 750. So there were 130 who didn't wear sunscreen, 620 wore sunscreen, and so on. So let's answer the question. A student is selected at random from the school. So this is a very key sentence. A student is selected from at random from the school. So you need to answer the question, there are how many students in the school? So in the school, from the table, can you tell me there are how many students in the school? In the school, there are 750 students. So the probability would be out of 750. So this is the first decision that you need to make. Now, the first question is, P stands for probability. What is the probability that a student is a female who didn't use or who did not use sunscreen? So first go to the table of female. This is the table, or this is the column for female. And there were 43 female who didn't use sunscreen. And the probability is out of 750. So your answer would be 43 out of 750. The probability that a female student from the school who did not wear sunscreen is 43 out of 750. Question B. What is the probability that the student is a male? Okay, so now you have to go to male. So you're selecting one student from the school. So again, this is out of 750. So first I would write out of, this is out of 750. And the question is, what's the probability that a randomly selected student is a male? So well, there are 363 males. So the probability of a student to be selected to be male is 363 out of 750. Okay, you can simplify this, uh, which is 121 out of 250. You can write this. You don't need to simplify this. You can use a calculator. So you can go to the run menu and go 363, sorry, 363 ABC 750. That will simplify the fraction to 121 out of 250 and 121 divide if you want to write that as a decimal divided by 250 is 0 0.484 okay so in in decimal the probability that a student is a male to be selected is 0 0.484 484 okay <clears throat> let me let's move on to the next question so what's the probability that the student wore sunscreen? Okay, so these are there are how many students who wore sunscreen? Uh, this is sunscreen, so there are 620 students who wore sunscreen out of 750. So that is the answer here would be 620 out of 750. You can divide both by 10, which is 62 over 75. 62 over 75. You can write this as a decimal, so let's use a calculator. So, or you can also go 620 divided by 750, just like that. It is 0 0.82. Uh, if you want to write in 3DP, it is 0 0.827. Okay, so the answer is 0 0.827. And we have rounded this to 3DP. Okay, let's look at the next question. Okay, the, the question has changed now. A student is selected. A male student is selected. So this is a key word. A male student is selected. 
So <clears throat> you need to answer there are how many males? There are how many males in the school from the table? Okay, well, the table tells me there are 363 males. So here the probability is out of 363. So here your answer should be out of 363 because you are selecting from a male. A male is selected. What is the probability that the student, that is the male, did not use Sanskrit? So here you have to go to this table or this column. So you're looking at this information. A male is selected. That is 363, and the peep and the males who did not use sunscreen is 87. So the probability would be 87 out of 363. You can write this as a decimal or as a fraction. So you can leave this as the answer. Okay, so this is your answer. Okay, let's move on to the last question. I think so. A student who wore sunscreen is selected again. The question has changed. A student who has wore sunscreen is selected. So you need to first answer there are how many students who wore sunscreen. So let's go back to the table. So this is the people who wore sunscreen. So we are looking at this column or this row. Now, not column. The people who wore sunscreen is selected. That means you're talking out of 620. Okay, so first answer that. So this is out of 620. So your probability is out of 620. So that's the first thing that you need to decide. It's out of. Now read the question. The student is a female. Okay. So first, there are 620 students who did not did use sunscreen, and out of that, how many were female? That is 344. So this is the female who wore sunscreen. Okay. So yeah, the answer would be. 344, am I right? So let's go back. Yeah, 344 out of 344 out of 620. So let's use a calculator and simplify this a little. 344 ABC 620. So that will simplify this fraction, which is 86 out of 155. 86 out of 155. And if you want, write this as a decimal. So this is 86 divided by 155, which is 0 0.555, if you want to write in 3 dp. So if you want to round in 3 dp, look at the fourth decimal place. And if it is 5 or over, increase the third decimal place by 1. So your answer is 0 0.555, which is in three decimal places.